Are you interested in completely up-leveling your game and learning how to transition to the net and win points? Well, in today's lesson, I'm going to show you how you can transition to the net in an easier, more effective way. My name is Jeff Salzenstein. I'm the founder of Tennis Evolution, one of the leading online tennis instruction websites in the world. And in today's lesson, we're going to go through a point here. And I'm going to show you some different aspects of the point that can be improved. The player that I'm going to be showcasing has aspirations of getting one ATP point. He is a director of tennis. He is a, a very good player that took up the game later in life. And I want to show you how he's trying to improve. And in this particular video, we haven't look, worked together yet on how he can improve his transition game. So I'm going to point out some things that you're going to love that's going to really help you out as well. Make sure that you smash that subscribe button and you make sure that your notifications are turned on because we want you updated on all the latest lessons. So let's get to the point right now. Now this is a second serve. I'm going to show the whole point first and then I'm going to break down the point and especially I'm going to talk about that transition game. Okay, that was an absolutely epic volley at the end of that point, but there were some things that this player could have done before that volley to make things easier on himself. So let's break it down right now. We're going to start with the return off of the second serve. So first of all, I really like the positioning. Now on a clay court, I'd probably have players standing deeper in the court, let the ball drop and bounce and hit a heavier ball back. This is more of a hard court return. He's taking the ball early. He's loading the outside leg. I like this footwork. I like his take back on the backhand. Very classic, or I shouldn't say classic, very modern in his take back. I love that. He's going off of his outside leg. He's landing on his front foot. What I'd like to see is his this leg right here kick back a little bit more. It stays too straight. I'd like to see it kick back more. And also notice where he is with his positioning. And then by the time he hits it, he's actually going back a little bit. So what I'd like to see him do is actually start here. And by the time he makes contact, he's further into the court. So moving back probably impacted this return. I love how he uses his left hand. Notice how the racket goes across and down instead of over the shoulder. I see this mistake made a lot with players. That's awesome as well. And this isn't even the part of the video that we're going to talk about. I just wanted to point out the return. I like that he went inside in to the player's backhand. So everything is good there with the backhand return, except I would improve the positioning. Now this is the shot in question. Notice the ball that's hit back. It's a slice through the middle of the court. It bounces about three feet past the service line. This player, in my opinion, crowds this ball too much. I see this mistake make made a lot with players. They see this ball, they move in too much, and the ball actually plays them. So you can actually see he's going to be hitting this shot and just standing in place as he hits it. He doesn't really move forward. What I'd like to see him do is move around the ball and actually stop about right here. This is what Federer does. Stop right here. Then when the ball bounces, then he would move up into the shot and be able to go off of this leg, which I'm going to show in a moment. So he basically moves too far up into the court to handle this ball, then is not able to get forward momentum into the shot. So when he's done, there's no momentum. Now he has to start his momentum again to get to the net and look where he is when he splits and look where he is when he hits this first volley. The ball actually drops in front of him. I'm thinking that he could have, if he could have used a lift and land where he goes off of his front foot more, it's possible. I, I can't guarantee it. It's possible he could have gotten in more and gotten this ball out of the air with more momentum because he didn't have to start over again. He does a pretty good job of picking the ball up against a better player. He's going to lose this point. I'd like to see him on this half volley step through this ball with his back leg instead of use a karaoke. So stay low and step through it. And then 
he gets pretty lucky here with the reach. He's already backing up, and he's and he's going backwards, reach, angle, volley. So, you know, after that half volley, he's going to lose the point. The forehand approach, going back to the forehand approach, there really wasn't enough on that ball. So the player was able to drop the ball low at his feet. I would have liked to see more momentum with his body going into the court and a heavier ball. He didn't really hit this ball that heavy. What I want to do now is I want to show what I want to show what should have been done. So he should have paused about here and then come up to the court. And you can watch this right here, going to go off the front foot. So that's the play right there, is to actually start further back and use this footwork to come forward on the front foot, a la Roger Federer. Now, if you enjoyed this video, what I'd like you to do is make sure you give us a thumbs up. That helps the video. It helps more people see it. And I just would really appreciate it because we're providing this amazing value for you. A thumbs up would be great, but only if you enjoyed it. Also, make sure, again, you smash that subscribe button. Your notifications are turned on so you can get updated on all the latest releases. And feel free to leave a comment or a question. And before you go, we have a free gift that we want to give you. We have a free course to offer you inside the Tennis Evolution app that we have. You can get free lessons inside there. To, so It's like having a coach in your pocket. You can take it on the court with you. Go ahead and click the link in the description below to pick up that free course inside the Tennis Evolution app. And finally, we also have some footwork myths we don't want you to fall for. There's a free gift somewhere in this video. You can click on it and get the free gift so that you don't fall for these footwork myths that are absolutely killing players all over the world. Thanks for your time today, and we'll see you at the next lesson.